So I just got finished watching episode 18 of ReZero, uh, From Zero. Oh my god. I don't know. It was so hard watching this episode. It. I don't know. So, okay, let's just start from the beginning. So, Puck, you know, basically kills Subaru and. Uh, what's his name? What's his name? Not idiot. What well, doesn't matter? Just. Okay, so you get to see Puck's kind of full form and his how his contract works with, uh, with Amelia. And so basically, if she dies, Puck will literally just like F the world. That was, that's an interesting note to take. Uh, but it was interesting to see is that uh, Subaru basically kind of breaks down, literally breaks down laughing in his final moments before before he eventually dies and resets and you know he gets to that point and you can see the the level of distress in, in his face and it's it's like you've seen him just go through so much and he's I, I can understand that and this entire episode after after the reset is him just finally coming to a realization, you know, that he's he's basically useless and well, we all kinda knew that. You know, his his character is that that character that, you know, you wanna be the hero and he is he is the main character of the show. But for the most part he's relied on everyone else and and for kind of the character to finally realize, like, no, he's he's basically useless, and that it, it for me it was like yes, you know, he, a little realization, you know, stop being that idiot. And my brother, my brother has hated him for so long these past couple episodes, and I can see it. You know, it's it's been frustrating to you know see him go through this. But now that it's come to the, this point where he's he's gone through so much, but then to kind of see it that there's someone out there to who actually believes in you, like Rem, she to to her she's like his everything for the most part. You know she believes in him and. That's the one thing about Rem that we get as a as a character, you know. We get to have that one character that believes in our main character, you know, sees the best in him even at his worst. And that's what makes this episode so frustrating to watch. You know, like I haven't read the novels. And and it it but I've I've seen some of the comments and I I know that there's a that the that the author actually made an alternate um, like not alternate world but an alternate timeline where they do end up together and I thought for a moment for a moment that was gonna happen as well I know it was not gonna happen but you know I just hoped and. Like I'm not like really into the 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 team scene. Like I just want to see a really good story told, and it it's there, and it's just hard to watch sometimes. Though <sighs> you know, it's just just to see them to put their feelings out there was was a very good demonstration on how this episode worked. You know, it was repeated a lot. There was a lot of repetition, but to have that ending hurt, maybe because of how much how much we have invested in 
Rem because she's the m most developed uh, female character out of everyone. And um, if we if, if we would have probably seen a little bit more of everyone else, we would probably feel it a little bit different. But she's the most developed, and it's always been made because also we've seen her die so many times. Like she's the most besides Super, she's died the most with his resets. And even I feel like it's been like, why does she always have to die? Is it Faden that she has to die? Like, why? And maybe at this point where, you know, she she puts her feelings out for him and he just kind of, oh God, it, I was literally, oh. Uh, I was about to punch my screen when he kind of rejected her and it was ah oh, so hard so hard to watch that scene where he just says no and ah uh, but you know I just I want to know exactly what's happening I know we won't at the moment but to, to overall for an episode where it's mostly all discussion I I, I will say that it it played a very vital role on what's going to be not going to be happening, but how the characters will be thinking a little bit more. <sighs> it's just so hard, so hard. <sighs> Probably end up watching it again, but still, like it it was a reasonably good episode. It was just hard to watch. So hard to watch and uh, you know I, I'm just looking forward to the next episode to see what all this will transpire from God so hard so hard so uh, I don't know it's more of a this is more of a uh, moment than compared to some of the other videos but so I'm hoping the one thing I hope for for this series is once it's said and done and they make an OVA that we see this alternate because I kind of do just want to see them together they're the same way that in um, and Clannad how they had those that like those there's like one or two, no no two or three episodes where you got the alternate and alternate timelines when he ended up with other girls like that, that, if they did that with this, and we saw Rem and Subaru together. God, I want to punch him so hard. Punch him so hard. I'm just rambling now. But it was good to see him finally just come to and see that he's useless. But there's someone there for him. So until next time, guys.